Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I am going to show you a brand new baler for the Sunfish and Soul Sailboats. Now this baler is made by Cerro Innovations for the Soul Sailboat, S-O-L Sailboat, which is owned by Chris McClellan and his company. Also, you know Chris McClellan from sunfishdirect.com. The baler is going to be more efficient by getting water out of the cockpit. For instance, I just sailed in the World Championships at Miami and my cockpit was getting full of water and it was really slow to come out. It was really annoying. This was a great topic for me to come across when I was at Coconut Grove Sailing Club and I saw this baler and Chris introduced me to it. It's reported to be more efficient on getting the water out. Now, the biggest thing about it for racers, it is not a class legal baler. It will fit in the Sunfish. It'll also fit in the Soul because that's what it's made for. But Soul parts are compatible with Sunfish. So everything on the Soul is compatible with Sunfish. If you want to race class legal events, you have to have class legal boat, which includes having class legal parts. So if you use this baler because it is more efficient, reportedly and will suck out 40% more water, that actually is an advantage. But if you're just cruising around and having fun and not worried about class legal events, this baler might be for you. It's not yet for sale. So the baler video is really short. It's only about a minute long. And afterwards, I'm gonna answer a few questions after the baler video. So stick around to the end of the video. This is, are you calling this a sole baler or is this it's a not it's a not class legal baler that also the sunfish and a salt. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Because this is the new baler because the the diameter of this is bigger, so it's reportedly, according to Sunfish Direct, about forty percent more water can get out compared to what oh compared to this. You want to take a look at the holes. See this hole here, hole there. You can definitely see the difference. And then because of the hole is different, the, the thickness of the walls is a little bit thinner. So the ball actually has to be different. That ball is bigger than the old ball. So if you're using the old baler, you have smaller balls than the newer baler. So I'd rather have the bigger ball. It's always good to have bigger balls, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is not class legal. Is it? Is it for sale yet? Uh, shortly, you're coming the next month. Oh, that's cool. Excellent. So this is this is going to be. Uh, this will fit the sole. And the sunfish, but like I said, it's not sunfish class legal or ISCA class legal. All right, thanks a lot. You saw it here first. So if you like this content, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. So what do you think about the new baler? Yes, I know it looks really the same, but the holes are different. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I read all the comments. Thanks. So in one of my old videos, How to Buy a Used Sunfish Part 2, I was mentioning that if one of the sunfish that you were thinking about buying had a, a broken end of the spar or was a little rotted, you could just cut the end of that spar using a hacksaw and then just drill new holes. Now, Al Cortines 4707 recommended pretty strongly, what I might say, all in big caps, why use a hacksaw? Definitely use a tubing cutter. And you know what, I never thought about that because I don't own a tubing cutter, but Al is totally correct. If you're going to cut tubes like a spar, if you have a tubing cutter or go down to Home Depot or Lowe's or a hardware store, get yourself a tubing cutter and it'll make yourself a nice clean cut. Thanks for the recommendation, Al. I really appreciate it. So Joe Hines will ask me from my older video, which debuted the two to one main sheet. It was three new hacks for the sunfish in 2021. He asked, what was that boom block that you attached to the tra Traveler that did not look like a normal race light racing, class legal racing boom block? And that's a really good observation, Joe. It was not 
a race light boom block. That was the one with the smaller swivel. It was an RWO branded boom block. And I didn't think it was class legal, but that's what I had. And sometimes I'll interchange parts for demonstration purposes. However, I wanted to make sure, so I called up my friend, John, who is actually the chief measure of the Sunfish class. So he's the big guru. He knows everything. And if he doesn't know everything, he is actually the person who measures all the boats for North Americans and, and uh, he's the authority in the world. So I called him up and I asked him, John, is RWO class legal? And he said, no. And, and he actually mentioned that in the last worlds in Miami, the boom blocks to, for people who are using two to ones had to been Nautos brand or Racelite, which were builder supplied. And he, and John said, that that was the number one thing that had to be corrected when people were measuring their boats. So Joe, good catch, really good observation. I actually had to really go back to that video and deep dive it. I, I'm sure you weren't talking about the swivel. Um, you were talking probably about that, but this, this is just a regular swivel. So yeah, just in case you were talking about that, that wasn't it. The third question from Paddle Sports was asking uh, from my last video, which is how to upgrade a sunfish in 2024. Now, it was a really good question. I showed uh, a hiking stick like this where you could upgrade your uh, wooden tiller and your wooden hiking stick. He's like, how long was my hiking stick? Well, this hiking stick that I used, uh, the video, this one's 30 inches long. Uh, this one is, I don't like this one, it's too short. I also have this one, this is, this is a Harkin one, which is, this one's 30 inches, the, and then the Harkin is probably another four inches longer. I still don't like this because when I'm laying in, it's still too short. I like to have my hands as close as possible to my body there. So my hiking stick is this. They don't make these anymore. I don't think this is an Ariba. And it's 40 inches long from uh, base to tip here. And I like it because I could really, when I lean out, I could hold it. And it is thicker. And I put some tape here. So if you want to, so I like it thicker and, and a little bit longer. So when I, when I lean back, it really is more comfortable and it makes hiking a lot easier for me. And it's really to each his own. A lot of people have used this and I use this on uh, a, Van, uh, a JY15 or a Vanguard. And most people who, who use it, it they, they think my hiking stick is, is a little bit too long, but I think you just have to get used to it. So to each his own experiment, it could be 30, 34 inches or 40 or whatever you like. Um, it this does reach the block when, when the rudder is down. So that's how long it is. So if you like that content, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you like this content, check out this video right here. Thanks. And I'll see you on the water.